so we are now shifted the patient for an endoscopy so this is an upper ga endoscopy you can see the flexible upper ga endoscopy this is a processor and this is a monitor this is a cv150 olympus monitor you can see this is a flexible endoscopy it can turn in various directions you can see it turns down it can turn up it can turn to the right side it can turn to the left side and it can have multiple movements with this we can have up down left right movement with this scopy and it is very soft it is flexible very soft and it don't, it don't go and cause a perforation in our diagnostic procedures mostly okay so it is a simple scopy and what is the length of this scopy can you see here the length of the scopy is 100 centimeters you can see the mark here it is one meter mark so this is the length of scopy with this scopy i can examine this patient from esophagus stomach up to duodenum second part third part also i can examine this patient so this patient is having a liver secondary so my first uh, evaluation will be i have to look look for any malignancy in the upper ga tract and if there is no malignancy in the upper ga tract then i will go for colonoscopy for a lower ga tract malignancy so let us see what happens for this patient so this is a straightforward case after examination and suspecting liver secondaries i have shifted this patient for a endoscopy okay the patient is put on endoscopy patient is will be lying left lateral position i am putting my scopy behind the tongue you can see we are passing posteriorly we are entering the cricothyroid cricopharynx level and going inside so i am entering the esophagus now we have to inflate the esophagus with the gas you can see the cardiac pulsation there the total length of the esophagus is around 25 centimeter by 40 centimeter level i will be seeing this og junction you can see the og junction now i have entered the stomach through the og junction i have come into the stomach so inside the stomach i am seeing a lesion there but to exactly know the location and other things we have to inflate the stomach so please understand if it is a linitis plastica you cannot inflate the stomach so this patient is not having linitis plastica so i could inflate the stomach and i am doing a j maneuver now you can see i am turning the scope upside down and seeing the og junction the, there is a small hiatus hernia that is lax so now i am seeing the pylorus part of the stomach you can see the pylorus and antrum so the antrum and pylorus area there is a circumferential growth you can see there you can see a circumferential growth so you can see i am seeing from distance there is a antrum and the anteropyloric junction level there is a growth as we suspected this patient having a mass a liver secondary the probably the liver secondary has come from carcinoma stomach this is a place the liver secondary has come from so you can see the malignancy you can see this stomach is distensible that's an interesting point i wanted to note here you can see the rugosities and i as i insufflate the stomach the rugosities gets disappeared that means the stomach is distensible in linitis plastica we cannot distend the stomach so you should not forget that and you can see that's a growth there circumferential growth i am trying to pass through the growth if there is a there is a small lumen seen but i am unable to pass inside my scope is not able to enter inside you can see the distally the pyloric orifice and all you can see distally but i am unable to enter beyond that so it is a not passable growth okay it's a it's a obstructive circumferential growth in the pyloric orifice so i have to take now biopsy so to confirm this is carcinoma stomach i should take minimum of 6 to 8 biopsy you can see with the biopsy forceps i am taking biopsies we have to take at least 6 to 8 biopsy to confirm the diagnosis and we should send it for histopathological examination the biopsy will tell whether it is a intestinal type of cancer or a diffuse type of cancer so in diffuse type of cancer signet ring cell pattern can be found and we can say whether the cancer is well differentiated or poorly differentiated see i have taken around six to eight biopsies repeatedly i should take biopsy and there may be bleeding nothing to worry most of the time the bleeding will stop by itself nothing to worry in especially in stomach there won't be perforation or bleeding i am now taking out the scopy you can see i am taking out the scopy this is the esophagus coming back coming back and i am taking out the scopy prep clinic dream beyond Prep Clinic. Dream Beyond.